Welcome to Teen YPWW Lesson 11. The topic is Reverence for God, Part 2. I do not own the rights to this music. The lesson text is found in Titus, Chapter 2, verses 9 through 15, and Romans 12. The memory verse for this lesson is Titus, Chapter 2, verses 11 through 12, and that reads, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. And that is the King James Version. The NIV version of Titus chapter 2 verses 11 and 12 reads, For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. Titus chapter 2, verses 9 through 15. Exhort servants to be obedient unto their own masters and to please them well in all things, not answering again, not purloining, but showing all good fidelity that they may adorn the doctrine of God our Savior in all things. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Romans chapter 12. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God have dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith, or ministry, let us wait on our ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity, he that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness, let love be without dissimulation, abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good, be kindly affectioned one to another, with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, Avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, 
I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thy enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. The key for today's lesson, right choices, right results. Today's focus, living a self-controlled, upright life honors God. This week we discuss strategies that will transform our thought life. As we have already determined, it is our responsibility to mature and live righteous lives. This lesson will offer skills that you can use to help you with this mandate from the Lord. In Romans chapter 12, verse 1, Paul said, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. This scripture lets us know that as believers, our bodies belong to God. The single most important purpose of our bodies is to worship God. Paul declared in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20, that our bodies are temples of the Holy Ghost and that we are bought with a price. Therefore, we should honor God with our bodies. Our confession of faith when we became saved means that we accepted Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. We accepted the sacrifice that he made at Calvary and knowledge the, and acknowledge the price that he paid for our sins, his life and blood. In summary, we belong to God. How we handle, take care, feed, nurture, rest, exercise, and dress your bodies should always be acceptable unto God. Our reverence to him demands that we respect our bodies so that we can live a healthy life mentally and physically while representing the kingdom of God. We know that complying with this mandate can sometimes be difficult. Nonetheless, the honest is on you. Paul declared in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Using the chart, Let's rap about it. Some of you live in supportive environments where the saints can help you. Then others of you do not live in a supportive environment and that's okay. Everyone can start with these five basic listings. As you pray, God can download into your spirit other creative strategic ideas that will be unique to your situation. Let's look a little closer at our basic list, Bible study. Reading the Bible weekly is very important. Beyond going to church, you should take time to read your Bible during the week. Fast and pray. There are some strongholds and traditions that will always hinder our spiritual progress. These are the areas where we seemingly have repetitive failures. However, these bondages can be broken and annulled through fasting and prayer. List and confess out loud. Make a list of what you are asking God for. Then as often as you can, look at this list and read it silently. Then when you can, without disturbing others, read it out loud, confessing and thanking God in advance for receiving these things and your victory. Journaling, writing your thoughts down weekly is also a great strategy especially when you receive what you have been asking for you can go back to the journal and rejoice about the day of the request and the day of the answered prayer seek wise counsel look for trusted proven and wise counsel god can send you the help you need it is our responsibility to be transformed by the renewing of our minds so that we can live holy lives that reverence god this week, think of strategies to renew your mind. 
we will start with this five-step foundational plan that is reflective of our faith. A weekly Bible study. Fast and pray, list and confess, journal and seek wise counsel. These fundamentals are explained and reviewed. God can also provide from others or download into your spirit additional creative strategic ideas that are unique to your situation. The advice shared in this lesson today will help you plan for your success. Why is this type of planning important? Have you used any of the mind transforming strategies we shared today? Have you used other mind transform transforming strategies beyond the five that we have shared today? The five strategies are weekly Bible study, fast and pray, list and confess, journal and seek wise counsel. God, we thank you for this lesson. Help us to seek you all the more in every day, every, our everyday life, and help us to walk in true holiness and, and give us Holy Ghost boldness in the name of Jesus. Help us to fellowship with your spirit everywhere we are in the name of Jesus. And thank you for the strategies, Father. And thank you for downloads that are coming. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God and amen.